academic writing in business and economics breaking down the language hello language learners today we're diving into the world of business and economics as we take a look at the unique features of academic writing within these disciplines Business and economics writing is analytical, concise, and often uses specialized language. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll understand the core principles and key techniques involved in academic writing in these fields. Let's get started. When writing academically in business and economics, the key is to remain objective and factual. These fields are all about data and analysis, so you should aim to express your findings in a clear, concise way. Jargon is common, but remember, using it correctly shows your understanding of the topic. The structure and style of your writing in business and economics are crucial. The structure typically includes an introduction, body, and conclusion. The style is formal and should be clear and concise. In your writing, be sure to present arguments logically. Use evidence to support your points. Avoid emotive language. In business and economics, data speaks volumes. Interpreting and presenting data is an essential skill. You'll often need to describe trends, make comparisons, or forecast future scenarios. Here's a simple tip. Use verbs like increase, decrease, rise, or fall to describe trends, and adjectives like significant, moderate, or minimal to describe the degree of change. The fields of business and economics have their own unique jargon or specialized language. Words like inflation, recession, stakeholder, benchmarking, are common. Learning these terms is important, but so is understanding their context and using them correctly in your writing. Be sure not to overuse jargon, as clarity should always be your goal. And that's a wrap on our introduction to academic writing in business and economics. We've covered the basics, discussed structure and style, delved into the language of data, and even brushed up on our jargon. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, why not try out what you've learned in your next piece of writing? We hope this video has been helpful. Keep learning and happy writing!